Hello class, Professor Anderson here, and today on another installment of Learning Glass, we have a practice problem from one of your homework problems in chapter 13. The problem is, find the radius r of the orbit of a satellite that circles the Earth. And so some of our given quantities are the gravitational constant, which is different than small g, 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11. We have the mass of the Earth, which is 5.98 times 10 to the 24 kg, and the radius of the Earth, which is 6.38 times 10 to the 6 meters. So what we do first is we're going to draw a diagram. And here we have the Earth. We have a radius here, and the solid line is the sat satellite's orbit. And we know from Newton's second law that force is equal to mass times acceleration. And we know that F is equal to big G times M times large M over radius squared. And so we substitute F for that theory, or that from Newton's theory. Oh, mass yeah. stays the same. And we know that acceleration is equal to V squared over R. And we can also substitute V for 2 pi R over T, which is the tangential speed of the satellite. And so we compile all of these knowns from our different equations, and we isolate R. And the way we do that is, um, so previously we found out that force is equal to mass times acceleration. Acceleration is equal to velocity squared over R, and V is equal to 2 pi R over T. Um, so when we compile all these equations and set them equal to each other, we are left with big G times big M times little m over R squared is equal to M times 4 pi squared R squared over T squared all over R, over R. So we multiply both sides by R squared. The R's cancel and we're left with big G big M little m is equal to M 4 pi squared R cubed over T squared. And then what we want to do is isolate this R and so we divide both sides by little m, masses cancel on both sides. We're left with t squared, big G, big M over 4 pi squared is equal to r q to the power of 3. And so we take the cube root of both sides, so we're left with r, big R is equal to 3 square root of g m t squared over 4 pi squared. Yeah. Um, so one of the givens in the problem was the satellite rotates around the Earth every 24 hours. So hours is an American unit, so we need to switch it to SI. So 24 hours, uh, we converted to seconds, so it's 86,400 seconds. Um, so from the equation we found from before, we're just going to plug and chug, and we're left with the radius is equal to 4.23 times 10 to the 7 meters. So we're going to plug in our numbers to see if we're correct. 4.23 times 10 to the 7th. Cheers.